Hi, and welcome to BTEC Health and Social Care. So you've probably heard of BTEC Health and Social Care, and we do run it as a Key Stage 4 subject. But that doesn't mean if you don't do it at Key Stage 4, you can't do it at Key Stage 5, because you can. We um, have a lot of students that will come in and join us to do it at the Key Stage 5, 6 form level. Okay, so health and social, what is it? Well, first of all, let me let you know that health and social is at exactly the same level as A-levels. It's marked at the same standards, the um, knowledge that you're required to know is the same standards, and importantly, it's viewed the same by universities. So doing a BTEC health and social care is exactly the same as doing an A-level. It's both um, essay-based and coursework and exam-based. Uh, so you will do 60% coursework and 40% external assessments. And the external assessments are in the form of three exams, which you'll take throughout the two-year period. So we will probably do one or two of them in year 12 and one in year 13. So it's three external exams and then the rest of your work is assessed as coursework. But the important thing is it's equivalent to two A-levels. So if you choose to do the health and social course, it's the same as doing two A-levels. Okay? So health and social care is a fascinating subject. It covers a wide range of topics and topics you probably aren't actually aware that it covers. So you can do anatomy and physiology, human lifespan development, you could do um, psychology, sociology within it. We do nutrition, physiological disorders, but then we also look at the caring aspect of it. We look at how public health works and how that affects service users. We look at how you meet the needs of those that are in the care um, situations, whether they're in hospital or care homes. We look at how to treat people with special needs, for example. So it's a wide-ranging, comprehensive course, and it is ideal if you're interested in careers in health and social, nursing, midwifery, medicine, it opens up the door to occupational therapy, um, sociology even, or so, uh, social work. We've had students doing health and social who have gone on to do social work degrees. So it's got a huge, huge value to what you go on to do. Okay, so as health and social is equivalent to two A-levels, you will have one A-level choice left to um, go with it. And again, a lot of different A-level subjects combine well with it. So you could go for psychology, sociology, sports studies, geography, English, business, uh, biology, history. We've had lots of students with lots of different backgrounds mixing health and social with a different A-level. Now, our students have been particularly successful with the health and social course and although it's equivalent to A-levels, it's marked or the grades are slightly different. So instead of having an A grade or an A star grade, you have a distinction or a distinction star. So over the last few years, we've been achieving distinction star, distinction star, which is equivalent to A star, A star, through to merit pass which is roughly, um, a, well, merit, merit is equivalent to two Cs, okay? So students are doing well in the course and are achieving great um, grades. They're also going on to good universities to stu study wide ranging of degrees. So we've had students going to Oxford Brooks, to Leeds, to Birmingham, to Bournemouth, to Southampton, um, studying a wide range of courses including social work, occupational therapy, paramedics, primary school teaching and midwifery and nursing. So there's been a wide range of successful students going on to do successful degrees. So hopefully that will give you a good insight into what um, you can achieve with a health and social qualification and I look forward to seeing you in September. But meanwhile, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch.